Hi boys and girls, welcome to Church Online. We are finishing up our series DIY and we're also finishing up learning about that word forgiveness. And we've been talking about that word week after week and we've actually been rooted in a story out of Luke 15, a story that is called the parable of the lost son. Well, today, as a matter of fact, we are going to round out that story and we are going to hear uh, the brothers, the older brother's perspective of his younger brother's decision and how he is looking at the whole decision, the whole um, situation, and he just cannot understand why their father is celebrating the return of the younger brother when the older brother has been off just working hard and sweating and doing all that he thinks what his father wants him to do, but yet his brother chose a different path. And so we're going to hear more about that today. But before we do, I have a joke for you because the story we hear today, there's not much joking around. So I thought it would be fun to share a joke with you. You guys ready? Here we go. Two siblings were driving to school when they accidentally hit an old friend. No one was hurt and there were no damages to the car. And the friend was very nice about it. The sister had never gotten in trouble before, so she was kind of nervous, but her brother had a plan. So he told her what to say to the parents when they got home. So when she got home, she said, guess who I ran into on the way to school today? Get it? <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> All right. Well, hey, just below this video, there's an activity page and there are so many more jokes for you to tell um, to your family today. And also parents, let me speak to you really fast. Just below this video, there's a parent cheat sheet. That is a card for you parents to use while you talk to your child about the story they just watched. So make sure you use that cheat sheet and we will see you guys next week. handle getting hurt. I'm not talking about a skin knee or a cut lip. I'm talking about wounds that dig deeper than that. Someone calls you a name. Your little sister takes your skateboard and wrecks it. Your favorite coach cuts you from the team. Your parents promised you a special trip, but can't afford it now. Your so-called best friend doesn't invite you to their birthday party. You start to feel like a mess inside, murky and mad and, and hopeless. You can't stop thinking about it, about what they did to you and how they should pay. But there's only one way to shine a light in the darkness. When you forgive, you decide the other person doesn't have to pay. You choose to let God take care of it. You say, what you did to me doesn't control me. You free yourself from bitterness. You even give the other person a chance to change, but you don't have to forgive on your own. In fact, you can't. True forgiveness comes from God. He's the one who forgives us of all the wrong things we've ever done. And it's only with his help that we can truly forgive those who hurt us. Then we can say, in your love, I'm free. In your love, I'm forgiven. When you live out forgiveness, Others can see God at work in you. And that's why forgiveness is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Okay, you need to be careful with that stuff, all right? I am being careful. See, look, I have gloves. Do you have gloves? Wear your gloves. I've got gloves. Okay, but you're not wearing the gloves. You say potato, I say whatever. Okay, uh, seriously though, the glue in your hand, it sticks to anything instantly. Oh, so I know, really... trust me. I, I, I will never forget the cat incident. Oh, I don't think the cat will either. It's fur will grow back eventually, okay? Okay. Now here, hold these. Okay, why? Because. Good answer. Now. Ha! Uh -huh. Why? Why? See, look! Because their hair, it's so soft. Feel it. Oh, mm. Super right? soft. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Here, let me get that. No, I got it. Don't worry about it. All right. 
Wait, you're... Uh, <laughs> you know what? There is no problem. I'm just gonna pull it off like this. Here we go. And one. You're... Uh, huh. Don't worry. Not an issue. I got some... Oh, I got some glue remover down here. I'm okay, just gonna go okay. grab... Bread it! Bread it! <laughs> a little help! Bread it! Yeah, yeah, just a second. Help! What? Where are you going? Bread it! Bread it! Bread, where are you going? Can help me? Ooh, what is that? Can I get me out? What is... No! 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 I'll help you after this. No! Smile! I don't understand. How is it that complicated? Look, just because it's your way doesn't mean it has to be my way. But That's all I'm saying. But it's not my way. It is. There's a right and a wrong way to do things, and clearly a you're right on the wrong, wrong side way. of the road, That's like saying there's a right and a wrong way to tie your shoes. There is a right way and a wrong way to tie your if shoes. If your shoes are tied, it's the right way. Hey, guys, uh, we're rolling. Welcome, Welcome to the So-and-So so Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm Lawson. And, and we're, we're glad, glad you decided, decided to watch today. today. We have an exciting show lined up, isn't that right, Lawson? That's right, Brandon, so exciting! You're not gonna let this go, are you? I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking about. Oh, really? Yeah. Fine! Fine! As we continue to talk about forgiveness this month, I wanted to- I want you to admit that you're wrong! See, I knew you weren't gonna let this go! You're being ridiculous! I'm being ridiculous? Why don't you let them decide who's being ridiculous? Oh, they're just gonna agree with me! We'll see about that! Huh. Breaking news, Brandon, current co-host of The So-and-So Show, has been identified as a non-toilet paper replacer. Hey! Though some of his fans will be shocked by this incendiary information, Brandon has been a longtime follower of the belief that placing a new roll on the sink is good enough. We can also exclusively reveal that on the rare occasion when he actually does replace the toilet paper, Brandon places the paper with the end going underneath. I understand that these accusations against the longtime host of the So and So Show will cause some to wonder if they truly knew Brandon at all. This has been a breaking news report. Thanks for watching. Now back to your normally scheduled program, already in progress. Really? You asked for it. Okay, you're right, Lawson. You're right. I am? Yeah, I should have replaced the toilet paper after it was used up. That's the courteous thing to do. Thank you. And you know what? I forgive you for being so uncourteous. Thank you. But what about that other thing? I will not apologize for how I install the toilet paper. There's not the there's no right or wrong way to hang the toilet paper. Au contraire, mon frere. There isn't. I, and I'll prove it to you. What do you Brandon, what's this? It's another way to hang toilet paper. Oh. It's also a game. Ooh. All right, so in our hands we have a bunch of rubber bands. Yes. Right, and, and what we're gonna do is we're going to shoot the rubber bands at the toilet paper, trying to rip it at the seams. The first okay. one of us who can make two aluminum cans drop to the ground wins the game, all right? Mm -hmm. And we gotta do it blindfolded. Is that okay Ooh. with you? Yeah, actually it sounds fun. All right. Blindfolds on. Okay, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Anything? Ow! I heard something. It was me. Oh, that was a little far off. <laughs> it hits it hits your finger on the on the point of exit. Do you not know how to shoot a rubber band? I skipped this part of my childhood. I went straight to division. Ow! I heard a can. Did it not fall? Woo! One. Wait, I need more rubber band. Is that, is that, two? that's just one, that's just one. Oops. Sorry, cameraman. How am I not hitting anything? It's like you've never done this before. Booyah! What? How did I not hit anything? Woohoo! 
Well, that was actually fun. <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys. Hi Kellen. You seem to be in a good mood. I know, isn't it crazy? What story do you have for us today? Okay, so last time I told you the first part of Jesus' parable of the prodigal son. Remember this? Previously on My Two Sons. Father, I want my inheritance. Oh? How much of it? Wait, let me think. Oh. That's right. All of it. Better not be eating that slop. That's high quality slop. Feed the pigs. My son was dead. But he's alive again. He was lost. But now he is found. You remember that? Sort of. It's mostly familiar. Great. Jesus told the story of a father who had two sons. The younger son left and wasted his share of his father's money. The older son stayed home. When the younger son returned home, the father forgave him. And that's where we pick up our story. I can't wait. Cool. Now here's part two of My Two Sons. As time moves on. So do the lives of my two sons. Where are you going with all that food? Your younger brother has come home. Your father is throwing a welcome home party in his honor. <laughs> He's what? As you can tell, the older brother was not thrilled. He refused to attend the party, so his father went to find him. Why are you not at the party? Hmm. Why am I not at the party? Why am I not at the party? Well, let me think. All these years, I have worked like a slave for you, and I have done this and I have done that, and you haven't so much as thrown me and my friends a tea party. You know, Dad, me and my friends, we like parties too. My son, you are always with me. <sighs> but then my little brother leaves and he throws all your money away and he comes back and you give him a full-blown <laughs> carnival. <laughs> my son, my son, my son, everything I have is yours, but don't you see, we had to celebrate his return. <laughs> why, Dad, why, why? This little brother of yours was dead, but now he's alive. He was lost, but now he's found. That's the end? Yeah, that's the ending Jesus gave us. Did the older brother forgive his younger brother like his father did? We don't know. I think Jesus told the story that way because he wanted us to put ourselves in the older brother's shoes. Would you be willing to forgive someone even if they may not deserve it? When you forgive, you're like the father in the story and our father in heaven. When you don't, you could be like the older brother and you could miss out on a great party. Uh, are, are you okay? I got left at a party once. My mommy didn't pick me up. It was so scary. Uh, <laughs> soap operas just do this to him. 
No, it's not that. I just forgive you for not putting the toilet paper on. Oh. I and I forgive, I forgive you for yelling at me for not putting the toilet paper on. Um, I'll just see you guys next time then. <laughs> bye, Kelly. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I have no toilet paper. <laughs> Reveal the <laughs> Reveal the question Reveal the question Do the thing What do you lose if you don't forgive? You can lose so much friendships, joy. I would have missed out on your awesome toilet paper game, Brandon, so thank you. You are welcome. I'm glad you're starting to rethink the whole toilet paper has to go over the top thing. Uh, no, I, I still disagree with you on that one, but we can disagree and still be friends, right? Absolutely. And besides, I thought of an even better way to install toilet paper. Ooh, do tell. <laughs> wow, uh -huh. hey, we'll see you guys next week for a brand new show. Bye we'll see guys. how this baby works. Oh, the room is spinning. Why did I do that?